Huh. This sure seems a bit... Yes, that is our destination. But I didn't expect the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Rukudavata to be as polluted as this. Forbidden knowledge? <sighs> it seems you know about a concept that even I don't completely understand. Could you tell me what you know? Hmm, your inference seems logical enough. Forbidden knowledge once polluted the desert thousands of years ago, but was successfully repelled thanks to King Deshrit's self-sacrifice and Greater Lord Rukadevata nearly exhausting her power. Then, a second instance of forbidden knowledge pollution occurred during the Conria Cataclysm 500 years ago. But I'm afraid it is much more serious this time, with Ermin Soul itself already in danger. So, if we're in the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, and it's also been affected by forbidden knowledge pollution, then does that mean, in order to save us, Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yes. It's very possible that she sacrificed her life in the fight against forbidden knowledge. She didn't completely eradicate forbidden knowledge, but if it weren't for her actions, the pollution would have been far more rampant over these past 500 years. The way that everyone, including me, has forgotten everything about forbidden knowledge may very well be due to her restoration of Ermin Soul. <laughs> Aww. Do you feel sad, Nahida? I'm just... <laughs> Is sharing her pain. The pollution of her consciousness here is severe. There is madness, chaos, and pain all around us. Did she fight to resist the forbidden knowledge pollution in such terrible conditions, all the way up to her last breath? She even used her last remnant of lucid consciousness to leave a clue for us to follow. Yes. Her words were distorted by forbidden knowledge, so that's all we could hear. But now, we have a chance to find the answer to this mystery. We can cross the polluted consciousness until we found the right path to meet with her lucid consciousness. And then, we'll let Greater Lord Rukadevata tell us the truth in person. Each of us need to be mindful of the state of our own consciousness while we are here. Even with the Gnosis' protection, we must always keep a clear mind. Otherwise, we could go mad at any moment. <sighs> That's so scary! Don't worry, it should be easy enough for you to keep that mind of yours clear, Paimon. Let's go! our consciousness is traveling towards. If we lose control over our consciousness, we will fall into madness. So let's make sure the boat stays on course. Wow! What are these? The monsters seem to have been affected by them! The wind knows me. Nature. The wind knows me. Time to go.
stabilize. Into the wind. I will have order. Shine down. Nothing to fear. Gather. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight. One with nature. Now you shall perish. Go in. Why do they? Order guide you. Stabilize! Into the wind! As one with wind and cloud! This is order! Gather! Everybody stand back! Let's light it up! Torn to oblivion! To control the mode of consciousness, we need to find the helm first. The wind knows me. from the current route, the boat of consciousness will soon take us out of here. We'll be arriving at our destination soon. How are you feeling? Are your minds still intact? Huh? But everything's been completely normal for Paimon! Hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. This time, we should be able to meet Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Are you saying you've never met Greater Lord Ruka Devata before? No. It seems that my birth and her death took place at the same time. Otherwise, I think she would have given me a little more guidance, and I could have done a better job. Hey, you've done a great job, Nahida! Let's get out of this creepy place and go meet her! you were talking about? The base of Ermensoul? <laughs> 